All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Time the Power. So, in 212 bodybuilding news, Flex Lewis has recently confirmed that he is, in fact, going to be competing at the Men's Open Olympia in the year 2020. So, he posted this image on his story here, weighing in at 217 pounds. It says, Last photo shoot today. Goodbye, GQ. Look, I will see you in 2020. Um, I'm assuming implying he's going to be putting on a lot of size um, in the time between now and then. Now, in my opinion, this is one of the more fascinating stories coming out of the 2018 Mr. Olympia because this is something we've really never seen before. The 212 division hasn't been around for the entire history of bodybuilding, um, so we've never had a scenario where we had a seven-time 212 Mr. Olympia, or essentially the lightweight division of bodybuilding, cross over to compete in the regular Men's Open Mr. Olympia. So I think this is going to be an extremely fascinating dynamic um, to see what Flex is going to be able to do in 2020. Of course, this year in the 212 Olympia, Flex looked absolutely phenomenal, um, hands down winner. I don't think he could have made an argument for anybody really beating Flex this year. Um, Flex looked great. Of course, you had Derek Lunsford, the newcomer, taking second. Derek took fifth at the 2017 Olympia, uh, moving all the way to second there. You had Kamal El Gargni taking third. Ahmad Ashkanani, who was second last year, slipping down to fourth. And Jose Raymond taking that fifth place spot. Um, and again, the version of Flex Lewis that we saw this year at the Olympia was a phenomenal one. Um, and it really raised the question, what if Flex had competed in the men's open category this year? How would Flex have placed against the big guys as is if he just jumped over from the 212 stage to the men's open bodybuilding stage um, at the same weight that he was in the 212? How would his physique right there have done in the men's open? And I think the honest answer to that is we would have seen Flex in the top six for sure. I think that version of Flex beats a guy like Big Rami. I think that version of Flex could beat a guy like Brandon Curry. I think that version of Flex could beat a guy like William Bonac. I think we could have probably seen Flex as high as fourth place at this year's Mr. Olympia had Flex decided to make the jump this year again as is. And I say as is because obviously when he comes back in 2020, he's not going to have any weight requirements to meet. So we're likely going to see a much bigger version of Flex. So I'm saying the smaller version of Flex, 212 Flex, could be successful as a men's open bodybuilder. Um, so if Flex Lewis with some added size, but that same 212 conditioning, I think is going to be a very, very dangerous bodybuilder in the men's open bodybuilding category. So I don't think anybody should be writing off Flex Lewis or thinking he's not going to do well, um, because I think when he does come to the Olympia stage, he's not going to be messing around. I think he's going to do a lot more damage than a lot of people expect he's going to do. Now, the one thing that I'm a little sad we didn't get to see um, is Hadi Chupin versus Flex Lewis. Now, obviously, this year, Hadi couldn't get his visa um, to the Olympia to compete in Vegas. Um, and a lot of people say that Hadi is the biggest threat or was the biggest threat to the 212 division, to Flex Lewis's title. Um, and when they went head-to-head -head last year at the Asian Grand Prix, a lot of people thought Hadi should have won. A lot of people thought Hadi was really pushing Flex. Um, and we were all looking forward to seeing them go head-to-head -head at the Olympia. Obviously, we didn't get to see that. Um, and then at this year's Asia Grand Prix, Flex Lewis didn't compete. And Hadi did compete, and Hadi won. He beat guys like Jose Raymond, Sean Clarita, um, David Henry, I believe. So he beat a lot of top guys from the Olympia. Um, but Flex was not one of those guys to show up from the Olympia. So that's my only reservation about Flex was leaving the 212 division because I really wanted to see that matchup at the Olympia. Um, I think they're a really great matchup. They've got two very different physiques. Um, and I really would have liked to see how Hadi would have placed in the Olympia lineup this year. But I guess we'll never see that. And Flex is moving on to bigger and better things, literally. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about Flex Lewis moving up to the men's open bodybuilding division in 2020. How do you think he will place? Thank you guys for watching the video, and please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.